Whether you were married in a church, on a beach, or through other private arrangements, in order to get divorced in Wisconsin, you will have to go through the court system. I'm Katherine Grigg, a family law attorney at Axley Law Firm. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps involved in obtaining a divorce. To start the divorce process, you must file a divorce petition and pay a one-time non-refundable filing fee. The divorce petition is a fairly straightforward document that provides basic information such as birth dates and contact information about you, your spouse, and your children. Wisconsin is a no-fault divorce state, which means that the court does not need a reason why the marriage failed, and neither spouse is considered a defendant. For this reason, it makes little difference on the outcome which spouse actually files for the divorce. Once the divorce petition is filed and served, this sets in motion a mandatory 120-day waiting period before your divorce can be granted. This waiting period gives you and your spouse an opportunity to get your affairs in order, to possibly reconcile, or to learn about an unknown pregnancy. There are five potential issues that need to be addressed. Legal custody of the children, physical placement, child support, property division, and maintenance, which is commonly known as alimony. If you and your spouse disagree about legal custody and placement, you may be referred to mediation and a guardian ad litem may be appointed to represent your children's best interests. At some point during the divorce process, both spouses will exchange a financial disclosure statement to provide a complete list of any assets, debts, or expenses that need to be addressed in the divorce. If you and your spouse can agree on how everything will be divided, including any custody and placement issues involving your children, then you can sign off on a marital settlement agreement. It is a good idea to have an attorney review your marital settlement agreement before signing to make sure that you have covered all your bases and to explain your legal rights. There will be a final court hearing at which time your divorce will be granted. This hearing is merely a formality and typically lasts less than a half an hour. If you and your spouse cannot come to an agreement on any of the five issues, then you may eventually have to go to trial, where you will testify, possibly bring witnesses, and where the judge will ultimately decide any unresolved issues. Additionally, you may need to ask the court for temporary orders to clarify some of the ground rules while the divorce is pending. This might include who is responsible for paying monthly expenses and debts, who has access to which bank accounts, and who is responsible for the children and when. On average, the divorce process typically takes between six months to a year. However, it can last much longer if there are complex issues or bitter disagreement. Whether you anticipate an amicable divorce or a contested divorce, we can help to get the best possible result for you and your family. Feel free to contact us at 608-257-5661 to schedule an appointment with one of our skilled family law specialists.